Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, shall we get cozy? Faulty Towers, episode 8 of 12, got four more after this. I think I'm, I'm going to try and target Faulty Towers instead of switching around episodes of different series. I have way too many going, so uh, it'd probably be smart to do that. Let's go. I do have to stretch it for you guys, obviously. But it is normal for me. Watery fouls. Good. What a shame. Hello, Hello, operator, what is going on? Oh, I know. I've been trying to get through the speaking clock. Oh, oh dear. Well, it's engaged. How awful. Well, it's Starting off with a joke I am too dumb to dear. get. Well, it's engaged. How awful. Well, it's been engaged for ten minutes. How is this possible? My wife isn't talking to it? That usually stops it. Right. Speaking clock is I, uh, I don't feel good. I started off on a bad note, okay? I didn't just... Okay. I'm done fiddling with this stuff. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Hello? What a shame. Manuel. Hello, operator. What is going on? Oh, I know. I've been trying to get through the speaking clock. Oh, oh dear. Well, it's engaged. <laughs> Well, it's been engaged for 10 minutes. How is this possible? My wife isn't talking to it? Well, hold your head right back. That usually stops it. Right. Speaking no, clock has obviously taken the phone off the hook. Either that or there's been a light shower within 20 miles. Well, you better not go on if he's getting on the bedspread. Unobtainable. Clock's been cut off. Obviously, it didn't pay its bill. <laughs> well, call me back when you staunched it. I don't know why she stays with him. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, hello. You got the guy. Uh -huh. Good evening, Mr. Hi. Johnson. Evening. Any messages? Uh, three, I think. Three? Everybody wants you, don't they? Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, well. You're only single once. <laughs> Twice can be arranged. <laughs> what, Basil? Nothing, my dear. You heard. We got enough bananas this week, dear? Guys, <laughs> <laughs> ah! We got enough bananas this week, dear? That was last time. <laughs> says you don't like me anymore why not and he says because you've got so terribly pretentious and harry says pretentious moi <laughs> <laughs> i'll just try that number oh, that that damn laugh awfully good isn't it i'm sorry oh that's awfully good isn't it moi <laughs> no sybil <laughs> What, dear? The laugh? The joke. Oh, a joke. No, I heard you laugh. I thought perhaps he was having a tea party. <laughs> tea party? If I don't get another freaking oh, joke. I understand the banana reference. You mean you think he looks like a monkey? Only from some angles. <laughs> well, from my angle, he's very attractive. Attractive? You know, easy and amusing and charming. And charming, eh? Well, he's certainly covered in charms. I've never seen so many medals around one neck in my life. He must be the bravest orangutan in Britain. <laughs> What's the point of decorating yourself like that? They're not just for decoration, they have symbolic meaning. Sybil, that type would wear a dog turd round its neck if it was made of gold. <laughs> Basil, you're so ignorant sometimes. One of Sybil. them happens to be a rhino's tooth. One's an ancient Egyptian fertility symbol. Well, that must come in handy. <laughs> it's not supposed to be handy, Basil. It goes back to the dawn of civilization. Well, by the look of this. Polly is so much better than you. Forehead, so does he. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm pausing. I'm just... Hyper, I guess. civilization. Well, by the look of this forehead, so does he. <laughs> Tell me, Pastor, what is it about the, the Mediterranean type that antagonizes you so? Is it because women find...
find them attractive. Sybil, You I... seem to think that we girls should be aroused by people like Gladstone and Earl Haig and Baden Paul, don't you? Well, at least they had a certain dignity. It's hard to imagine Earl Haig wandering around with his shirt open at the waist covered with identity bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> who, guys, who is the... <laughs> I was going to look him well, up, At least but... they had a certain dignity. It's hard to imagine Earl Haig wandering around with his shirt open at the waist, covered with identity bracelets. <laughs> well, he didn't mind the medals, did he? The military decorations? That's not the point. I suppose the reason you confuse them with monkeys is that monkeys have fun. They know how to enjoy themselves. That's what makes them sexy, I suppose. I never thought of that. Good evening. Good evening. I told you earlier, the name is Abbott. Oh, yes. There hasn't been a cancellation, I'm afraid, so it is still a room without bar. That's fine. Oh, good. Would you just fill that in for me, please? <laughs> yes, we're terribly busy at the moment. Just enjoy myself. Good evening. Sorry, you guys can't really... Uh, I can get away with like this, probably. Good evening. Good evening. Rabbit. Oh, Dr. Rabbit, sorry. Doctor? Yes. I'm terribly sorry, we hadn't been told. We hadn't been told you were a doctor. Oh, how do you do, Doctor? Very nice to have you with us, Doctor. Thank you. You're in room five, Doctor. And Mrs. Abbott? How do you do? Uh, Dr. Abbott, actually. I'm sorry? Dr. Abbott. Two doctors. You're two doctors? Yes. Well, how did you become two doctors? <laughs> Most unusual. I mean, did you take the exam twice? Or... No, my wife's a doctor. Jesus. I'm a doctor. You're a doctor too. So you're three what? doctors. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just one doctor. My wife is another doctor. Manuel! Uh, your room is at the top of the stairs along to the left. Oh, I see you. See, I, I thought when you said two doctors. But, uh... Manuel, would you take the doctor's cases up to number Manuel. five, please? Yes, this way, please, doctors. Yes, when you, uh, when you said that there were two doctors, I thought perhaps you were, you were a doctor of medicine. Perhaps a doctor Just... of, um, of... Did you get through all right? And one was busy. I'll try again in a minute. Look, I forgot to ask. Any news in our room for my mother? Oh. Oh, yes, number 16 has decided to stay, I'm afraid. I tried a couple of other places for you, but everywhere's full at the moment. Oh, well, no, asshole. She won't mind sharing with me. Lucky mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go and try that number again. Stop being so horny, Sybil. Oh, here, use this one. Oh, thank you. Uh, may I ask the sign on the chain by the Egyptian fertility symbol? What is that? Um, well, it's a um, Greek astrological sign. Oh, it's beautiful. Where did you get it? Um, Greece? Colchester, I think. Colchester? Oh, hello. Uh, can I speak to John Lawson, please? Oh, all right, I'll, I'll hold on. So your mother will be arriving tomorrow? Yes, first thing. She's getting the overnight train down from Newcastle. Newcastle? <laughs> yeah, visiting grandchildren. She's 77. 77? Isn't that amazing? Old people are wonderful when they have so much life, aren't they? Gives us all hope, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> My mother, on the other hand, is a little bit of a trial, really. You know, it's all right when they have the He's life not force, but symbol. mother, well... She's got more of the death. Sorry. <laughs> you know, it's all right when they have the life force, but mother, well, she's got more of the death force, really. She's a warrior. No, no, it's all right. I'll hold. She has these, well, morbid fears, they are, really. Vans is one. Rats, doorknobs, birds, heights, open spaces confined spaces. It's very difficult getting the space right for her, really, you know. <laughs> Footballs, bicycles, cows. And she's always on about men following her. I don't know what she thinks they're going to do to her. Polly is so much better than you. Vomit on her, Basil says. Can I leave my number? He can call me back. And death. Oh, I see, right. She's frightened of death. I told her there's nothing she can do about it, on about it the whole time she is. I mean, nature can only take its course. The only thing you can hope for is that it won't be long drawn out and painful, but she can't accept that. Oh, excuse me. Hello, John. How are you? No, oh, fine. I'm just out for the weekend. <laughs> Charming people. Mm -hmm. The Abbots. Charming couple. Yes, all three of them. <laughs> no, I'm all right for the night. <laughs> But, um, that outfit Mrs. Abbott was wearing, you should get yourself something like that. Oh, for the gardening, you mean? No, no I can't tomorrow night. How about lunch? Yes, attractive woman. How, how old would you say she was, Sybil? 48, 50. Oh, now, Sybil. I really don't know, Basil. Perhaps she's 12. No, <laughs> favourite, magic. Yeah, it's nice to have that kind of person staying, isn't it? Professional class, educated, civilised. 
at both ends of the evolutionary scale this week. <laughs> I just came out for a stroll. What time do you serve dinner? Uh, 7.30 till 9. See you tomorrow then. Ciao. Do you have a, a guide to Torquay? A guide? Um, oh, dear, I think we're out of them again. Do you want to look at this one? I've got it in town. Oh, thanks. Yes, what's on in Torquay? Yes, yeah, one of the world's shortest books. Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> one of the world's shortest books. Like the uh, wit of Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> or great English lovers. Oh, it's very funny, isn't it, yeah. Pat? Thank you. Isn't this in the 70s? How do they know uh, Margaret Thatcher? Or we... Or is it like 1980? Are you uh, taking dinner here tonight? Sorry? Are you dining here tonight, here in this unfashionable dump? I wasn't planning to. No, not really your scene, is it? Well, I thought I'd try somewhere in town. Anywhere you recommend. Oh, what sort of food were you thinking of? Fruit or...? Uh, anywhere they do French food. Yes, France, I believe. They seem to... ...like it, eh? French food. Yes, France, I believe. They seem to like it, eh? <laughs> and the swim would certainly sharpen your appetite. You better hurry. The tide leaves in six minutes. Some fruit. <laughs> Excuse my husband's sledgehammer wit, Mr. Johnson. There is a very nice place, La Pomme d'Amour. Oh, La Pomme d'Amour, the apple of love. <laughs> yes, in Orchard Street. Or oh, that ancient Egyptian place, the Golden Dog, something. <laughs> Do enjoy yourself. We'll see you later. Thank you. I have had it up to here with you. Oh, you never get it right, do you? Yeah. You're either crawling all over them, licking their boots, or spitting poison at them like some benzodrine puff adder. True, actually. <laughs> Just trying to enjoy myself. <laughs> okay, she had a point, actually. Ah, did you enjoy your beef? Oh, yes, thank you. Ah, good. Uh, would you care for a dessert? No, just coffee, thank you. Just coffee for me. Two coffees, Sybil. Uh, two coffees. Here, yeah, please, dear. Yeah. Uh, would you uh, care for a little something with us? A um, little aperitif, cognac, brandy on us, with us, which we'll pay for on the house? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, thank you. Yes, I'd, well, I'd like a cognac, if I may. Uh, Dr. Everett? Oh, poor, thank you. Mom, please, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I don't actually hate Sybil, obviously, all right? She's just, you know, the actor, the actress is playing her very well. Thank you. And for you, Doctor. Thank you. Have you been to Torquay before? Well, not for a few years. No, we, we had a free weekend and we suddenly thought we'd like to get out of London. Lovely. White or black? Black, thank you. Nice. And black for you, Doctor? Thank you. Cognac for you, Doctor. It's rather fascinating you're both being doctors. Port for you, Doctor. Because at one stage I was contemplating becoming a surgeon. <laughs> a tree surgeon. <laughs> Thank you, Sybil. Had to give it up. Couldn't stand the sight of sap. <laughs> it's a bit old, isn't it, Dom? Um, my great-grandfather on my mother's side was a doctor, so it was always felt that I might... Uh... Run a hotel. Are you... Get out of here. Are you both in general practice? No, I'm a paediatrician. Feet. Children. <laughs> Children have feet, don't they? That's how they move around, my dear. You must take a look next time. It's most interesting. And, uh, and you, Doctor, are you... Um... I'm a psychiatrist. Very nice, too. Well, cheers. <laughs> I'll get you another one. Sorry. A psychiatrist? How fascinating. We've never had a psychiatrist stay here before. We had a faith healer the first month we were open. Really? It's a relatively really? new profession, psychiatry, isn't it? Well, Freud started about eight... It's a relatively new profession, psychiatry, isn't it? Well, Freud started about 1880. Father of psychoanalysis. Uh, I tried to look smart and it backfired. It's a relatively new profession, psychiatry, isn't it? Well, Freud started about 1880. Yes, but it's only now we're seeing them on the television. <laughs> Here we are. I, I, I must just do excuse How long have you... What? You have. Sybil. I must just Until I, I, I hate not getting jokes. How long have you had this hotel? Well, my husband and I. Keep back, keep back. Well, what is it? Bolly. What's the matter with him? Psychiatrist. Look at him. Look. Look at the way he's listening. See, he's taking it all in. She doesn't realize. Look. Look at the way she's talking. They've got photographic hemorrhage. Uh, Sybil. Oh, Sybil. Calvin B. Yes, Basil. Uh, could I just bother you, dear? What is it? Uh, just a little problem. Nothing personal, nothing of a private nature. Just a Excuse me, would you? 
Right, is it better? Just, just take it easy, okay? What? Well, just keep your distance. I mean, remember who you are, all right? Remember who I am? Well, just don't tell him too much about yourself, all right? That's what I'm perfect. All right, okay. all right. What have you told him? Nothing. We were talking about Scotland. Scotland? What do you want to know about Scotland? Oh, <laughs> Why are you so nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm just saying take it easy, all right? All of us, just take it easy, right? It's got Nothing's got easy. I'm just saying take it easy. I've got to say take it easy without starting a panic. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> what is his name? Leonard? The full take it. I've got to say take it easy without starting a panic. I mean, what is going on? Mr. Fulte, take it easy. Now, now look, we'll get, we'll get one thing clear, all right? You don't tell me to take it easy. Well, I, I don't pay you to tell me to take it easy. I pay you to take it easy. No, I pay you to tell you to take it easy. So take it easy, all right? Yes. Why are you getting so upset? I'm not. You liked him when he arrived, look, and look. then just because you find out he's a psychiatrist. I'm not, I'm not bothered by that. I'm not, I'm, I'm not bothered by that. If he wants to be a psychiatrist, that's his own funeral. They're all the baddest bloody march hairs anyway. That's not the point. Look, how does he earn his money? He gets, he gets paid for sticking his nose. Oh, best. No, I'm going to have my say in people's private um, details. Well, just speaking to myself, I don't want some total stranger nosing around in my private parts. Detail. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> They're here on holiday. They're just here to enjoy themselves. He can't. Can't what? He can't tell me anything about myself that I don't know already. All this cartridge, a load of Tommy Rock. Yeah. You know what they're all obsessed with, don't you? What? You know what they, they say it's all about, don't you? Brain. <laughs> sex. Everything's connected with sex. Oh, what a load of cobblers. <laughs> well, yes, but you... Can I go into it for a second? I know, I won't go into it. Okay. I think also. So what is uh, uh everything had to stem from, right? Is you needed you need you were first life forms and needed to reproduce, so sex, yes, but also survive and not get eaten and eat things long enough to reproduce. And so I feel like it's food. Well, I guess you could all put that under reprodu reproduction. Uh, second time I tried to... Connect. You know what they, they say it's all about, don't you? Hmm? Sex. Everything's connected with sex. Oh, what a load of... Another what I'm trying to... I think it's kind of true, right? I'm no... Say. Cobblers. <laughs> yes, but you see, if they wanted to do that, well, they'd have to close the hotel, wouldn't they? Yes, if you would just sign that. Thank you so much. Yes. We were just speculating how people in your profession arrange their holidays, how often you can get away. Hmm? How often do you manage it? <laughs> how often can you and your wife manage it? <laughs> you don't mind my asking? Not at all, not at all. About <laughs> average, since you asked? <laughs> Mm -hmm. What would be average? <laughs> well, you tell me. <laughs> well, a um, couple of times a year. <laughs> Once a year? Well, we knew it must be difficult. My wife didn't see how you could manage it at all. <laughs> a week, actually. A week? Yes, pretty normal, isn't it? We're quite normal down here in Tokyo, you know? And he says, pretentious, wah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always like a man who can make me laugh. <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Fulton? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so yes, much yes, better than you. What's the matter, Basil? Nothing, no, just talking to Dr. Abbott. Oh, now, if I had the money to go to a psychiatrist, he'd just the sort I'd choose. I can't leave anything nicer than having a good old heart-to-heart. -heart. I'm sure they understand women. So, well, All right, darling. Do you know... Do you know what he asked me just now? What? What? He asked me... Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm telling all. you the truth, honestly, as God's witness. What's got into you today? He turned around and asked me, just like that. Well, what did he say? He said... <laughs> Angie, his wife said... They're talking about holidays, Basil. I was just saying to them about how difficult it is to get any. Twice a year. Oh, my God, what did I say? It doesn't matter. I was right enough. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you know, we were at cross purposes just now. They were talking about sex. I thought you were talking about walks. I'm not 
six holidays. Holidays. Ha! Six. <laughs> no, my wife and I have one about twice a year. I mean, a holiday. A holiday. Whereas, uh, as far as a good walk goes, well, we have a jolly good walk about two or three times a week, average. Well, we're just taking ours now. Thank you. Well, enjoy it. Uh, the walk. Walk. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My name is Raylene Mars. I have a reservation. Ah, yes, that's right. Would you be so kind as to fill this in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, uh, thank you. She seems thing. nice. I mean, your charm, your charm, in the middle. Yes, I know. Ah. <laughs> what do you say? May I ask what it is? It's the St. Christopher's medal. What is that? Ah. <laughs> I mean, your charm, your charm, in the middle. Yes, I know. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hold on, sorry. Uh... Very nice. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. Your thing. I mean, your charm, your charm, in the middle. Yes, I know. Ah. <laughs> May I ask what it is? It's the St. Christopher's medal. Saint? St. Christopher, patron saint of travellers. Hello, dear. St. <laughs> Christopher's medal protects travellers. Very pretty. <laughs> yes, isn't she? Where did you put the order forms, Basil? Uh, down there, dear. Where? Uh, down here, dear. Um, oh, what? Yes, here we are. I think you'll find them uh, hello. <laughs> Club key number six, please. You're back early this evening, Mr. Johnson. Yes, well, got to be up early for Mother. <laughs> Thank you. We'll put you in number seven. Mm -hmm. Manuel! It's all right, dear. I'll take them up. We have a Spanish porter we're training at the moment. It'd be quicker to train an ape! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Manuel. Manuel. Oh. I was just wondering, um, are you in fact Australian at all by any chance, my heart? Oh dear, is my accent that strong? Oh no, 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 it's just that you're quite tall, so I thought perhaps you were... <laughs> Here we are, this is your room. I hope it's to your liking. Mm -hmm. You are the English Riviera down there behind the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, this is your bathroom. Oh. Here we are. Oh, it's not working. I'll just fix it. Have you, uh, have you had a tiring journey? Uh, seven hours in the coach. Is, uh, is the dining room still open? Well, the chef leaves at night, I'm afraid. We could always do you sandwiches. Oh, I'd like a hot meal, really. Is there a, a restaurant near here? Uh, well, there's an awfully good little uh, Welsh place, Leek House, about five minutes' walk. You'd have to go straight away. Oh, that'll do fine. Just turn left out of the gate and straight on, and it's on your right. <laughs> He didn't even grab. He's. <laughs> sorry, I was trying the switch. I'm sorry, Sybil, 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 Sybil. I'm sorry. I didn't know she was there. I was trying the switch. It's pathetic, Basil. No, no, look, Sybil, I was reaching round for the switch. Don't right? bother. Uh, look, the, the lights weren't working in the bathroom, right? OK, so I went in, checked the fitting, which was loose. I've right? read about it, Basil. The male menopause, it's called. <laughs> oh, and one word of advice. If you're going to grope a girl, have the gallantry to stay in the room with her while you're doing it. <laughs> Sorry, I do apologise for just our sort of feeling for the switch. Oh, I realise that's perfectly all right. Uh, I hope your wife didn't... Oh, no, no, my, no, my wife, she's been on about that. <laughs> uh, where was that restaurant again? Um, out of the gate, turn left, uh, five minutes on your right, Leak House. Thank you. Not at all. <laughs> Pretentious, moi! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, can I help you? Um, I was just wondering if I could get um, a drink now. A drink? Well, a bottle of champagne. Champagne? Yes. I see. Uh, you are aware of our rule about visitors, are you? Hmm? No visitors in guest rooms after 10 o'clock? Oh. Of the opposite um, <laughs> sex? No, I wasn't. Ah, but I am now. So you'll send up the champagne, will you? What? The champagne. You're drinking it on your own, are you? I guess I'll have to. Very well. 
One bottle of champagne for one. Thank you. And one glass. <laughs> That's all I'll need, unless you care to join me. No, thank you. Not when I'm on the job. That's when I enjoy it the most. <laughs> There's not enough Manuel in this episode. He's the best character. Well, Polly, and then Manuel. Mr. Fawlty, hmm? did you know there's a psychiatrist, Steve? Yes, yes, I did. Has he come for the major? What? Has he come for the major? No. Oh, good. We were rather worried. I'm sure they have them in Birmingham, too. <laughs> well, there is. Oh, just coming. Won't be a moment. from downstairs, so I'm just uh, giving it a check. Okay. Yes, I think that's fine. <laughs> no, no, we're all right. Fine, well, sorry to disturb you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Mm. Can I go? The bathroom. Yes, sir, second on the left. Thank you. Yes, uh, it's just coming. <laughs> <laughs> kind of off topic, but I wonder, oh man, well, I wonder if they really do have a two-story set, or if, if the, it's just a hallway. Sorry, guys. Just in the hotel. Yes, I knew. Oh, you know? Yes. Oh, well, apparently he's, he's dressed up as a guest. Well, he is a guest, Major. <laughs> oh, well, your guest is as good as mine. <laughs> Perhaps he has come to get you. <laughs> Cigarette. Uh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 Filthy habit. The bathroom. Uh, second on the left. What is he looking for? A lipstick or something? Someone in a room. Someone in a room? 
Yes, someone in her room. We'll have to charge her double then. What were you doing in there? Oh, is, is she all right? She's all right. What were you doing in there? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Forty. I didn't realise it was you. That's all right. That's all right. I'll tell you. Tell you in a moment. Oh, silly of me. I didn't know it was him. He came in to check the walls. To check the walls? <laughs> Emma, Emma, quick, come on. She make him crazy. Come, come, come. <laughs> What a Manuel show. said the same thing to Sybil and Sybil was with uh, uh, Harry Chess sexy guy <laughs> Polly are you alright? 
Hmm? You all right? Oh, yes, right, right. Oh. Right, right, right. Go on, go on, go on. Simple, dear. What do you want? I got your tea for you, dear. Just leave it outside the room. Yes, uh, all right, dear. Yes. Um, Sybil. I'm not speaking to you, Basil. No, could I just have my electric razor, dear, just for the guests? Thank you, dear. No, no, no Basil, please, please, let me explain you something. Get your foot no, out please, of no, the door. Let me explain. When I said I'm I wanted to look at that girl last night, I wasn't talking about that, that Ray something, the Australian girl. I was talking about the girl in the room next to her. Basil. In Johnson's room. Johnson smuggled a girl into his room last night. That was the one I was trying to get a look at. Not that Australian hayseed. Basil, you have eight hours to think of something. Is that really the best you can come up with? You don't believe me. Oh, go away. Right, I'll get... I'm going to get up and show it to you. Yes, you do that. Right, I will. Right. Right. All right. Uh, come. Mr. Johnson, do, do, do you want your guide back? Oh, thank you, yes. <laughs> I'll see you later then. Thank you. OK, darling. Right, the game's up. <laughs> up there. A bit of game pie got stuck up there. <laughs> right, well, everything back to normal. <laughs> Enjoy your walk. <laughs> There's enough material there for an entire conference. Some stuff in the cupboard, dear. Something I, I knocked over. <laughs> Sorry, I got confused. What? Sorry, I got confused. So, 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 why did he have that reaction? So, so, look, I'll tell you to go. Torrance, I'm going to get the other girl just to prove it to you, but I'll tell Miss Miles to, to leave. Out. Out. Right. Out. Out. <laughs> Um, excuse me, I do apologise, but I'm afraid I shall have to ask you to... Come in! Sorry to bother you. I thought I'd better apologise for my husband's behaviour. No, please, no. really, Mrs. Forty. He's going oh to rather... Oh, my God! Wait a second, what? They look exactly alike. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I thought she I thought he caught her. Come in. I'm so dumb. Sorry to bother you. I thought I'd better apologize for my husband's behavior. No, please, no. really, Mrs. Forty. He's going through rather a disturbed time at the moment. <laughs> no, please, look, I, I don't quite understand. Does he does you? seem a bit worked up about no. something, but I'm sure there's some quite innocent yes. explanation. <laughs> <laughs> his finger. Basil? Hi, <laughs> dear. Just checking the doors. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Uh, I was in the bathroom! Yes, she was, dear. So I just popped in to have a, have a look at these hinges, you know, the ones we've been... Do you really imagine, even in your world, dreams that a girl like this could possibly be interested in an aging, brilliantine, stick insect like you. A girl like who, dear? This one, Basil, the one you've been chasing ever since she arrived. My dear woman, have you got out of your mind? What are you doing in there? Look, you know the trouble we've been having with these hinges? Like what I said, all right, if you really want to know, I came to apologise for the incident just now when I thought she was the girl in Johnson's room. Remember when I oh. put my hand on the... Oh. <laughs> Simple, Simple. Simple. Do you think I've got time? 
time to listen to any more of your hopeless lily-liver jellyfish lies. They are not lies. I am no, trying Why to... can't you be a man? If you want to grope the guests, why can't you at least be honest about it without making up some pathetic song and dance... Shut up! <laughs> oh, you've done it now. No, I haven't. I'm just going to. <laughs> I'm fed up with you, you rancorous quaff... Finally! Good old sow! Why don't you swing the donuts out of your ear and get some sense into the dormant organ you keep hidden in that rat's maze of yours? <laughs> there is a woman in that room that Johnson smuggled in last night, right? That's the woman I've been trying to get hold of! Right, right, stand up! Stand up! And watch! Champagne? What? Another bottle of champagne, perhaps? I thought you said you rather enjoyed it when you were on the job. Have you got a screw loose? A screw? No, no, it's just that I thought that I'd rather fool the impression that there was someone in the room there with you. A female person, perhaps a lady, you know, an opposite person of the contradictory gender, that sort of thing. <laughs> Mrs Johnson is in here, yes. Oh, of course. I should have guessed. Oh, yes, of course. The little woman, eh? The only thing is, I, I thought you told my wife that you were single. I am. I see. So who's this Mrs. Johnson, then? The late president's wife, or...? <laughs> She's my mother. Your mother? Oh, Still I breaks the this, rules. This, uh, bit of crumpets your old mummy, is she? <laughs> oh, this is rich. Oh, 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 Mother Johnson popped up for a quickie, did she? May I meet her? Certainly. What? Mother Johnson! Mother Johnson! Come out, come out, wherever you are! How do you do? Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> I'll get the champagne. This calls for celebration. That was so satisfying, the, uh, finally. I'm gonna watch that again right here. A female person? Shut up! Oh, you've done it now. No, I have Deserved. Um, <laughs> I'm just... Manuel needs his own show. Manuel and Major. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I, I hopefully I can get this on to, uh, YouTube, but if not, it'll be on Patreon. And uh, I'll continue this. I'm going to try and finish Faulty Towers. I have way too many different shows that I'm juggling. And uh, I got to stick with it. I'm terrible at it. I'll see you guys next time. All right. I'm going to watch the next episode right now. Bye, guys.